All right. Good evening. This is Luke Thomas, QuickPredictions.com here with the Earthquake Channel. It is 9.43 p.m. on Sunday, December 27th. And we're going to look at the uh, earthquake uh, earthquakes that have happened around the world. And then we're going to look at the forecast as well at the same time. So we're going to start with uh, Chile, I believe. Let's look at the uh, screen here. We're going to start with Chile. And today, they had a strong earthquake in Chile. I believe it was a 6.7. 6.7 earthquake occurred southwest of Santiago out here in the ocean. Uh, beyond our forecast uh, map, but still, nonetheless, it was there. So uh, we're going to go back to uh, our forecast area here. There's a 4.8 northwest of uh, Santiago near La Serena there. And that would put it right in there. It was about 75% risk area. And then we have some up here. This one here was a, a 4.3, 4.4, and 5.1, all those occurred up in this region, the 95% and 90% risk area. And that risk continues for, uh, for the next 24 hours, pretty much the same area there. All right, here in, uh, here in Southern Peru, you see this quake here, this uh, 5.7 that hit west of La Paz, Bolivia, west of Lago Titicaca, here in uh, southern Peru. And if you look at our forecast map, here's that lake right there, and it occurred right in the 70% risk area there. And that's where the risk is continues, it's 85% in the southeast. And here's uh, Lima, Peru is right here, so that's where the risk continues for the next 24 hours as well. Here's a, a 4.2 southwest of San Jose, Costa Rica. And our forecast is more up in the Guatemala and Honduras area, and then out in the ocean as well. That quake hit right in this area, in the 55% risk area. This is where our risk continues is uh, northwest Honduras and eastern Guatemala, and then way out here in the ocean as well. All right, Japan. The risk is pretty quiet across Japan. I mean, it's, I mean, earthquakes that have hit in the last 24 hours, uh, nothing really significant. Our forecast map for Japan, though, is, uh, has some pretty high risk offshore, 75% risk there in uh, the Iwaki and Fukushima area up to Sendai, down to Chiba and Tokyo. But most of the risk remains offshore for the next 24 hours. And here's a quake here, 4.1 in southwestern Turkey. And that quake hit uh, near Rhodes Island here, right in this 65% uh, risk area there. So our risk continues in southwest Turkey and up here in northeast Turkey and also in uh, western Georgia, the country of Georgia there. All right. and. Uh, you can see here the uh, nothing really significant in uh, California yet. Our warning remains up for the uh, southwest portion of, uh, can zoom in here, from San Luis Obispo, Santa Maria, Lompoc, Santa Barbara. That's the highest risk area. Oxnard, Santa Clarita, Clarita, and Los Angeles. And you'll see in the map in just a minute. And the risk is peaking now in, uh, during the next 24 hours, it's been building and building and building. And I really believe we're gonna get that quake we've been waiting for, at least a 6.0 earthquake up in the uh, area northwest of Los Angeles. Anywhere here from Los Angeles up to San Luis Obispo, this is the area to watch for that strong quake. And you can see here, here's Los Angeles, and just northwest of Los Angeles from Santa Maria to Santa Barbara and Northwest LA. That's where we're expecting a, a strong earthquake in the next 24 hours. Alaska is pretty quiet, 50% uh, just south of Anchorage there, but, and 80% in the far, far Northwest. Italy, all the risk remains in the far South and 85 to 90% in, in the far South part of uh, Italy where you can get another 4.0 to 4.5 in that area. 
And in the Philippines, most of our risk is here in the north. Here's Manila right here, so 80% there, but the highest risk is in the far north, 85% risk in the far north. And then Greece, the risk continues uh, in Western Crete and Southwest and Western portions of uh, the country of Greece. Indonesia, you get a 5.5 up in the far Northwest part of uh, Sumatra and a 4.5 is possible in Eastern uh, Java. And in Taiwan, the risk is in the way in the South here, 50, 55 to 60% of the far South part of uh, Taiwan, so pretty quiet there. In the Caribbean, uh, risk remains in the Northeast part of uh, Puerto Rico to the uh, British Virgin Islands over to the Northern part of the Western Antilles, where 4.0 is possible there. Washington State, Oregon, and uh, Idaho remain very quiet, low risk. And once again, uh, we're looking for a strong earthquake northwest of LA in the Santa Maria to Santa Barbara, in northwest LA area. Actually could hit anywhere all the way down to the Salton Sea, but this is the highest risk area northwest of LA. And expecting that in the next 12 to 24 hours, so be aware of that. And the risk is peaking now. It's, it's been building and building and building the last uh, week or so and it's finally peaked and we should get a strong earthquake northwest of LA in the next 12, 24 hours. Uh, so thank you so much uh, for watching today. I'm trying to make it uh, cleaner and faster and uh, easier to understand the uh, forecast, We're going over the earthquakes that have happened as well as the forecast at the same time so that we'll get through them faster for you. Thank you very much for uh, subscribing and watching our forecast here at YouTube. We're also over on uh, Twitter and Facebook as well. And we will keep you updated. We'll keep you safe here, quakeprediction.com. Thank you and have a beautiful uh, rest of the week. And uh, oh, I guess it's Monday's coming up tomorrow. So Monday of next week. Also, Happy New Year if I don't see you until then. But we'll be back tomorrow night for another update. Thank you very much and have a great night.